What's going on guys? Hope everyone's doing good today. Actually, I'm bringing a Black Ops 3 video and I don't want everyone to get mad if you read the title or the thumbnail. You're going to realize that I'm not just playing this as my primary game, but actually I jumped back on the game and apparently my movement got a lot better than it was when I first played the game. I was able to I used to look at YouTubers like I know the Green Goblin or whatever they call him, Goblin. Um I would watch his videos and he was like hopping around and stuff like that and I was like I never could do that for some reason I play the game for over a year and then I come back and I can do it somehow it doesn't make sense to me but it happened but today's video is just going to be talking about is the game still good is it the life cycle still there and I haven't played honestly I went two weeks without playing any games I had Battlefield 1 I had Destiny all the DLCs for it um, plenty of games to play but I hadn't touched my Xbox in like two weeks and I hadn't touched Black Ops 3 in almost a month well I hopped back on at my first game and I went positive at first I messed up a little bit but like the classes that I'm using are very unique like I think I had a weevil with like stock um, elo suppressor and something else and I don't wear and like this has a suppressor and stuff like XR2 and I don't use that kind of stuff I never use sights on anything like especially like the Weevil or the Cuda and I don't use suppressors a lot or the stuff that I use I usually just run like you know like I run grip stock quick draw something like that or in that sorts but I changed it up because the game had life to it for some reason. I had I was excited to play Black Ops 3. Now the only thing that does get kind of boring is the maps do get boring. And the guns, I had to say the guns really didn't bother me that much. I just changed the guns up, went with weird setups, and it was kind of fun. If the maps, if I played something, then again it is Nuketown. My first game was Nuketown. I didn't give it enough shot, enough time to actually go and play anything else to see if it was more interesting and still fun because Nuketown's been around for a while. Of course, that map would probably, just the layout's probably boring, but I'm just going to say go give it a try. If you have want to play something, you don't have the new COD and you went for Battlefield 1, but you don't want to go to Infinite Warfare and you want to play on Xbox One and you don't have Black Ops 1, of course, do the backwards compatibility, backwards compatibility or you don't have an Xbox 360, go ahead and don't play Black Ops 3 for a few, like about, say, give it a week or two, or just give it a few days, or it depends on the person and how you feel, and if you get bored with it, or um, you, get, you start to miss it, or you love gaming, it might be different for people, but just give it like a week, probably. Or whenever you get that urge to play something, and if you do get that urge, just hold it off for a few more days, and then come in and play Black Ops 3. Sorry, I had a hiccup. But... I'm telling you guys, the life cycle for this game, I don't believe, is honestly open. I have Dark Matter, Master Prestige, almost all DLC weapons with Dark Matter, and it's... I had fun playing it. Like, the score streaks, I didn't even know what I had. It was just something to play. I think it's almost like, because you take it away a little bit, too much of anything is bad. We had this game for a year, and we all grinded it away, and we, it started feeling like it sucked and like it was over, but essentially it wasn't. But that's all I had for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and comment. See you in the next one.